this is how this row should look like we finish up together last two stitches each one double crochet that's number one and number two chain one and turn your work around then you'll be facing the correct side just the good side of your work you see here the ribbing again let's start with row 25 I've already chained up one in the next two stitches you make each one single crochet there's two single crochets in a row then you skip directly to the chain two space in the chain two space you make one single crochet and then in the next chain two space you make five double crochets it's number two three four and five skip to the next chain two space there you make one single crochet next chain two space you make five double crochet that's number two number three number four number five and then the next chain two space you make one single crochet this is how it should look like you are repeating this throughout the row and we'll finish off together well i finished this row right now with the five double crochets in the chain two space from the previous row and one single crochet in between them i ended up with two stitches in the last two so two single crochets over the last two stitches now chain one and turn your work let's start with the first double crochet in the first stitch and the second in the second stitch like this then skip to the five double crochets and into the third so the middle of the five you will make each one uh, you make five double crochets in the in the third double crochet from the five so that's number two number three number four and number five this is how it looks like then go to the single crochet here there you make one double crochet into it next five double crochets in the middle so the third double crochet you make five double crochets one two three four five into the next single crochet you make one double crochet so that to be repeated throughout the row and we'll finish up together well I finished this row we'll finish off together with the last pinwheel motif so in the third double crochet I'll make five double crochets one two three four and five and in the last two stitches you make each one double crochet one and two chain one and turn now you have a good side facing you here as my ripping make one double crochet on top of the first two double crochets one two skip to the third double crochet you make two double crochets chain one two double crochets so there's two double crochets chain one and one two more double crochets then on top of the double crochet from the previous row you make one double crochet and you skip directly to the third double crochet and there again two double crochet chain one and two more double crochets in the same stitch plus one double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row this you'll be, be repeating throughout this row and when we finish up together so I almost finished this row we finish up together and with the last pinwheel motif there I make two double crochets and a third double crochet plus one single crochet a uh, chain and one uh, two double crochets sorry and the last stitches you make each one double crochet and number two chain one and turn now you make two double crochets so one double crochet in the first two stitches 
one, two, chain two, single crochet in the chain one space, chain two, double crochet on top of the double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain one space. That to be repeated throughout this row and we'll finish up together. I'm almost finished with this row. We'll finish up together. I made make two chains, one, two, and two double crochets over the last two stitches. So one double crochet over the last two stitches. Like this. Chain one and turn. Now we start making the rows even with double crochets. So in every stitch you make one double crochet. That's the first and the second in a row. That's easy. There's a chain two space, so it counts with two stitches. Then you make two double crochets in there. One and two. Single crochet, you make one double crochet. Chain two, make two double crochets. One and two. Double crochet, you make one double crochet. Chain two space, you make two double crochets. So a stitch is a stitch, whether it is er, if it is a single crochet or a double crochet or a chain, they're all stitches. So this is how it should look like. And try to count them. You need to come out at a multiple of 20 stitches in order to attach part 5 to it. So if you don't come out with exactly 20 stitches, uh, in multiple of 20 stitches, don't worry that much. In the next row you can add up the stitches throughout the row. But make sure if you need to add about 30 stitches or 40 stitches because you want to have more grannies at the bottom, don't put them all in one line. Take several lines, split it up in sections. Okay, here, there and there I will uh, I will increase uh, decrease, sorry. And there is that on that those points you will put for example two double crochets in it or two half double crochets. So take it slowly, don't rush it, because when you rush it too much, the part 5 when you need to attach it, it will go bubbling and that's such a shame. So take a little bit time for this to make it nice and even flowing out. I will finish off this row and then we will go ahead with part 5 of the Boho Abita cardigan. I wish you all the best of luck.